Indigestion. Introduction. Indigestion is common. It is a feeling of discomfort or burning in your abdomen. It may cause heartburn, belching, or bloating. It may also cause nausea or vomiting. There are many causes of indigestion. Avoiding certain foods and situations may help prevent it. This program explains indigestion. It discusses the symptoms, causes, and treatments for the condition. Indigestion Indigestion is also known as dyspepsia or an upset stomach. Indigestion is not a disease. It is a group of symptoms. Nearly everyone experiences indigestion. Although it is common, the way you experience indigestion may be different than the way other people experience it. Symptoms of indigestion may be felt occasionally or daily. Indigestion can be a sign of a more serious problem. See your healthcare provider if it lasts for more than two weeks or if you have severe pain. Are the symptoms of indigestion the same in every person? Select yes or no. Correct. The symptoms of indigestion may differ from person to person. Symptoms Most people with indigestion have one or more of the following symptoms. Early fullness during a meal. You haven't eaten much of your meal, but you already feel full and may not be able to finish eating. Uncomfortable fullness after a meal. Fullness lasts longer than it should. Pain in the upper abdomen. You feel pain in the area between the bottom of your breastbone and your navel. Burning in the upper abdomen. You feel an uncomfortable heat or burning sensation between the bottom of the breastbone and navel. Less frequent symptoms may include nausea or vomiting, bloating, your stomach feels swollen, tight, and uncomfortable. Sometimes people with indigestion also have heartburn, but heartburn and indigestion are two separate conditions. Heartburn is a pain or burning feeling in the center of your chest. It may spread into your neck or back after or while eating. Mild indigestion is usually nothing to worry about. Talk to your health care provider if discomfort happens for more than two weeks. Contact your health care provider right away if your pain is severe. You should also contact your health care provider right away if your pain is accompanied by unintentional weight loss or loss of appetite, repeated vomiting or vomiting with blood, black tarry stools, jaundice, trouble swallowing that gets progressively worse. Seek immediate medical attention if you have Shortness of breath, sweating, or chest pain radiating to the jaw, neck, or arm. Chest pain on exertion or with stress. Lisa has experienced the symptoms of indigestion for two weeks and has lost weight. Today, she is having trouble swallowing. What should she do? Choose one of the following options. 1. Rest at home and wait to feel better. 2. Contact your health care provider right away. Correct. Lisa should contact her health care provider right away. Causes There are many possible causes of indigestion. It is most often caused by certain lifestyle choices and what you're eating and drinking. Indigestion can also be caused by other digestive conditions.
Common causes of indigestion include overeating, eating too quickly, fatty or greasy foods, spicy foods, too much caffeine, too much alcohol, too much chocolate, too many carbonated beverages. Indigestion can also be caused by smoking, nervousness, emotional trauma, stress, or fatigue, medications including antibiotics and some pain relievers, pancreas inflammation, ulcers, gallstones, stomach cancer, pregnancy, stomach infections, and food poisoning. Indigestion may also be caused by gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. This is a condition in which the esophagus becomes irritated or inflamed because of acid backing up from the stomach. When a cause for indigestion can't be found, a person may have functional dyspepsia. Functional dyspepsia is a type of indigestion. It happens when the stomach is not able to accept and digest food normally. It also prevents the stomach from passing food to the small intestine normally. Which of these can cause indigestion? Choose one of the following options. 1. Spicy foods. 2. Stress. 3. Functional dyspepsia. 4. All of the above. Correct. There are many possible causes of indigestion. Some are related to lifestyle and what you're eating and drinking. Indigestion can also be caused by other digestive conditions. Diagnosis Your healthcare provider will perform a physical exam. He or she will ask you questions about your personal and family medical history. To rule out other conditions that can cause indigestion, your healthcare provider may perform certain tests. Blood, breath, or stool tests may be performed. An upper gastrointestinal endoscopy can help check for stomach problems. After you've been sedated, a long, thin tube with an attached camera is placed in your mouth. It goes down your esophagus and into your stomach. Your healthcare provider may remove some tissue to be tested. X-rays of your esophagus, stomach, and small intestine may also be done. This exam uses X-rays to make images of the inside of your body. Generally, this test is only used if you can't undergo an endoscopy. An abdominal ultrasound can also check for problems. Using high-frequency sound waves, an ultrasound makes images that show movement, structure, and blood flow. A gel is applied to your abdomen. Then, a handheld device that emits sound waves is pressed against your skin. An abdominal CT scan may be performed. A dye may be injected into your veins in order to get more detailed pictures of the inside of your body. Then, you lie on a table and the CT scanner rotates around you to take x-ray pictures. If your healthcare provider doesn't find the cause of your symptoms using blood and imaging tests, a gastric emptying study might be needed. For a gastric emptying study, you will eat food that has been tagged with a safe amount of a radioactive tracing material. The material allows the healthcare provider to measure how fast the food leaves your stomach. When food leaves the stomach too slowly, it can cause indigestion. Treatment Healthy lifestyle choices may help prevent mild indigestion. Eat smaller, more frequent meals. Chew your food slowly and thoroughly. Avoid triggers. If certain foods, beverages, or behavior trigger your indigestion, avoid them. 
maintain a healthy weight. Excess weight can put pressure on your abdomen. This pressure may push into your stomach and cause acid to back up into your esophagus. Exercise can help you maintain a healthy weight and lead to better digestion. It can be as simple as a daily walk. Try for 30 to 60 minutes of physical activity on most days of the week. Eliminate stress from your daily life, especially during meal time. Practice relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, and yoga. Spend time doing things you enjoy and get plenty of sleep. Talk to your healthcare provider about medications you take to find out if any of them cause indigestion. With your healthcare provider's approval, stop or cut back on pain relieving drugs that may irritate your stomach. If lifestyle changes don't help your indigestion, medications may help. Most are designed to reduce stomach acid, help move food from the stomach to the small intestine. Indigestion medications include antacids, H2 receptor antagonists, proton pump inhibitors, prokinetics, antibiotics, antidepressants. Antacids include Alka-Seltzer, Maalox, Mylanta, Tums, and others. They are available over-the-counter. They work by neutralizing stomach acid. Side effects include diarrhea and constipation. These are often the first medications healthcare providers recommend to treat indigestion. H2 receptor antagonists, or H2RAs, don't begin working as quickly as antacids do but they work for a longer period of time. Examples of these drugs include Axid, Tagamet, Pepsid, and Zantac, which are available over-the-counter or by prescription. Possible side effects are Headache, Nausea, Vomiting, Constipation, or Diarrhea, Bruising, or Bleeding. Proton pump inhibitors such as Asifex, Nexium, Prevacid, Prilosec, Protonix and Zegarid are most effective for people who also have GERD. These medications reduce stomach acid more effectively than H2RAs. Proton pump inhibitors are available by prescription. Prilosec and Prevacid also come in over-the-counter strength. Possible side effects include back pain, cough, headache and dizziness, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, constipation, and diarrhea. Rarely, long-term use has been associated with bone fractures. Prokinetics are medications that can be helpful if your stomach empties slowly. People taking this medication often experience side effects. These include fatigue, sleepiness, depression, anxiety, involuntary muscle spasms. If the bacteria that cause peptic ulcer disease cause your indigestion, your healthcare provider may prescribe an antibiotic. If no cause for your symptoms is found and other treatments don't work, your healthcare provider may recommend an antidepressant medication. These prescription medications may improve the discomfort of indigestion by easing pain. Healthy lifestyle choices may help prevent mild indigestion. Select true or false. Correct. Healthy lifestyle choices such as eating smaller meals and avoiding known triggers can help prevent indigestion. Summary. Indigestion is common. It is a feeling of discomfort or burning in your abdomen. It may cause heartburn, belching, or bloating. It may also cause nausea or vomiting. Nearly everyone experiences indigestion. Although it is common, the way you experience indigestion may be different than the way other people experience it. Most people with indigestion have one or more of the following symptoms. Early fullness during a meal, uncomfortable fullness after a meal, pain in the upper abdomen, 
burning in the upper abdomen. There are many possible causes of indigestion. It is most often caused by certain lifestyle choices and what you're eating and drinking. Indigestion can also be caused by other digestive conditions. Healthy lifestyle choices may help prevent mild indigestion. If lifestyle changes don't help your indigestion, medications may help. You should understand that this health education video 1. Includes general information and not specific medical advice. 2. It shows graphics and series of pictures and dialogues that have been simplified for better understanding. If you have any questions, you will check with your doctor or healthcare provider.